Hey, hey gamers, I'm Dan from Game Reviews AU and I've got a game that I've been so excited to play for such a long time and have only just managed to get my hands on. The game is Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade. Yeah, and I played it on PC from the Epic Store. And I just want to say this to begin with. I have not encountered any of the problems that people are complaining about. I am yet to even see what people are not liking about the game. I think it's an absolutely fantastic remake, just reimagination of the original game. Of course, it is not the original game. Okay, disclaimer, Final Fantasy VII Remake is not a remake of the original game. It is a reimagining as well as a bit of a remake. Like, yeah. I'll get there. So, yes, Final Fantasy VII, for those who may have played it back in the day, was an amazing, breathtaking JRPG back on the uh, PlayStation 1, and then the PC and, and whatnot. And it packed a story full of uh, baddies and goodies and, and sense of self and, and destroying the planet and all that into this amazing game. It, the combat it was revolutionary, it, obviously not too revolutionary, that yes, there have been games with the same sort of combat, but this, the type of battles that you got into, and how things looked, and the animations and everything, just amazing, back in the day. And what they've done is they have reimagined this, and they have remade it, and remastered it, and made it look superb. The characters are very reminiscent to those in the uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children movie. Um, they're a little bit different to that, though. So you know they've they've taken a step up, and you know it's it's they're all very HD. They all look gorgeous, and even the sub characters uh, that only appeared. Briefly, in the original game, they have put so much effort into their characters, into their, their design and, and their voice acting and, and just their personality building. So, as I was mentioning before, the story is not exactly the same as the original. It deviates, but sort of in a way that uh, it, it still is relatively uh, running parallel to the original story. You will do the same events, go through the same little things that you remember from the original, uh, but there will be other little bits that mix things up. And it makes it feel a bit weird, but it makes it also feel different. Because you, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I didn't want to be playing through the exact same game. Uh, just, but with nicer graphics, especially when they're releasing it in sort of episodic format. That would just be really frustrating because you'd be like, oh my god, you know, I'm right at the end of this, you know, first episode. I just want to get to the next one so I can do this, that and the other. But this is going to, it, it leaves you thinking, I'm at the end of the episode. What the hell has just happened? What's going to happen next? You know, how is this all going to end? I think it's an absolutely fascinating way to uh, handle a remake. Yeah, it's it's dangerous, but so far, I think it works really well. And uh, you know, I, I'm sure I don't even have to say the graphics are absolutely beautiful. They're gorgeous. The combat is, oh, I love the combat. It's so like button bashy, hack and slash. There's not a lot of waiting and uh, not that I had a problem with the turn-based combat from the original but my attention span has, has yeah, it, it has waned over the years so having to wait for my turn to come around is just bleh. I'd rather be button bashing and slicing through all my enemies the way that you do in, in this. Each character also has uh, their um, like perks that they can bring to combat. Barrett, 
is uh, long range, so he can take down enemies that might be up high. Uh, Cloud is just, he's, he's just a machine. He, he bloody just acts and slashes through anything. Tifa, she is a uh, very fast paced. Um, yeah, so, so even though each character from the original was just another character to equip materia into the way that they've made them in this game is they all have their own jobs that they can play uh, uh, they can do and and their roles they can play in combat which is great the materia system comes back um, and random combat is it's that's not a thing anymore in this. You can see where the enemies are. Yes, they do respawn and stuff like that, so it can get a bit boring going back into the same little room and seeing the same enemies. But, you know, random um, random battles, that got boring too. I think this is a bit more fun, a bit more interesting. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. It is, it is not the original game with beautiful graphics it is a very uh, similar game with beautiful graphics and the soundtrack the musical score is it's so good you'll hear certain pieces of music and it will just bring back that nostalgia it'll flood your head with memories and it'll just sound so much more epic as well like the first hour I'd say half hour to an hour of the game is so action packed you would you would really benefit from watching it on a, a big screen with some really good headphones or speaker systems. Just it was epic. But yeah, yeah. Blew my mind. This is an easy five out of five stars for Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. And yeah. Played on the Epic Store from the Epic Store. It it works. It's good. There's no bugs so far. Uh, yeah. And I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse. It feels great. Uh, yeah. If you like this review, please hit the thumbs up button down below and remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you do so choose to do so, leave a comment down below. And please check out my Patreon page and consider pledging a few bucks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Our separate ways thinking that must be it, that we'd never meet again. And then here of all places we do,